That was huge. We were doing really good, uh, a really good job on P1s. This event, we spawned, we spawned them out though. Siege was a good search map. I don't know. We were, I mean, my team on New York was good in it towards like the end and stuff. I don't know. All those maps were just, all those maps were insane. Who's better at S and D, you or Karma, like coaching it? I mean, I don't know. We do the same shit. Wait, actually, I'll, once we get to the the map too, I want to talk about the ordin ordinance name shit. Jesus, my voice is cracked. The ordinance name shit is 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 an interesting topic. This is so funny. This this snow shit, dude. I, when I first saw it happen on someone's screen, I was like, bro, how the fuck did you see that? But apparently, it's just Codcast. You see it, like it's taken off. Chat, can we clip the voice? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, Shostin, what is up, man? The fact that I don't remember the map called Siege, it's uh, Desert Siege he was talking about. Fucking Desert Siege search map. Snow Radical goes crazy. That's what I'm saying, bro. When, I, when that first happened, I was like, bro, uh, how the fuck did you kill that guy? How did you see that shit? He was like, what do you mean? And then I showed him the Codcaster. This is a clean map, though. I don't know, we just played sub base in matches just so much better. I don't, I don't get it, but... We played... Have we even lost it, chat? I don't think we've lost it in a match, no? I'm pretty sure we haven't lost it in a match. Because it's not like we're dominant in scrims on it. Like, we're... I mean, we're decent, but in a match, we just don't lose it for some reason. Is Terminal gone? I have no idea. I don't know the vote yet. I think they might still be voting. <laughs> Do you think the SNE maps are in a good spot right now? If not, what map are you taking out? I mean, if I could take out multiple maps, I would take out both High Rise and Terminal. I think both of those are just, I don't think they're great maps. So what would that leave? It would be Rio, Invasion, and Karachi. But the thing is like, I, I haven't, I, don't, I haven't seen Vista search. So I don't know if we would be able to add that in anyways. We didn't even test it out. We just, I mean, there was just no vote for it. Apparently. I like sub basics that maybe fix the P3 spawns. I think the P4 spawns are some weird shit happening, but honestly, I don't mind sub base in general. Like. It would probably be the next one getting taken out, though. But I'm assuming we don't really change until... Or for the rest of the year at all. The map set. For hard point, at least. I don't know what the S&D vote's looking like. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that High Rise Control didn't go for 6-star, though. I didn't think 6-star was that bad. It was okay. Why is MCW the only AR in ranked? Because everything else gets GA'd, so it just gets banned from the rule set, no? I think that's what it is. What about P3 when both teams are spawning maze? Um, well, they spawn on different sides, but yeah, I mean, I guess that could be further apart. I mean, I, that's just the the game in general. Spawns in, on every map could be fucking better. Like P5 spawns, P4 spawns on Karachi. Sometimes P1 spawns on Karachi. Or just, uh, they make absolutely no sense sometimes. But Sky's froze then? Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about before. AG had that shit too. But it's just a, it's a visual bug on Codcaster. They don't actually get it in game. I want to see six star control for one of these maps we have for the moment for control. Well, you're not going to see it because it, it did get voted in. We're going to have the same control map set for the rest of the year. Would love to know who voted to keep high rise. I have no idea. I don't know who who voted to keep it, but there were seven teams that voted. It's part of the dynamic map elements. Yeah. AG absolutely was having this map. I want to talk about this search though, or at least the ordinance shit. Like I don't usually go over search, but... Honestly, the the ordinance stuff to me creates some really cool like meta changes to search, but I understand why people wouldn't like it in terms of cheesiness, like you can just get naded off spawn. But it would start to create a meta, right? Like it would start to be like, okay, if they are gonna throw this fucking car nade, all right, we can't get to coop early, or we have to go around this way. Or what happens if they start just nading this car? You know, or like, okay, we're just gonna have to give up like initial B control. So now maybe we just keep going A more often or something, or now we just hit mid through and let them stay towards B. Like there's a lot of things that could start happening simply because teams might start to hit ordinance nades. And then what happens if there's a, a whole thing where it's like, oh, we know New York likes to throw this, this nade over here. So we're gonna wait the nades. What if they wait out their ordinance nades and just nade you while you're trying to go this way now? Like after, you know, you've tried to wait for this card nade. They actually just don't throw the guard nade and now they just throw one for the entrance. You know, there, there's a lot of things that you can start to think about. And I think that's fun. I think that's cool to like try and figure things out. 
but I understand that it's it's like really cheesy just because it's like you know the start of the round just get fucked but then it's like okay you don't want to initial coup patrol or you're gonna you're gonna nade us from getting coup patrol we're just gonna try and like send a meta where we just you know keep pulling out a or keep pulling out mid to a or or do you want to think maybe throw ordnance nades ourselves bro in this round we get killed by an ordnance aid right here they go around to this lot and throw an ordinance nade the funny thing is like we knew about it we tested it out bro damon damon was constantly hitting this car nade so we knew it was a possibility but i guess like we just didn't expect that they were going to pull that shit out but we knew it was a possibility for you to ordinance nade off spawn to hit this car because damon would keep hitting it on us like i was i was one of the like the test dummies because i was like all right let's see, let's see if we can fucking like let's see how deep we can hit this ordinance nade and damon was automatic he would just constantly hit that shit it was actually really funny like the other guys they would they would they would hit like the maybe the entrance over here or maybe like one out of like three times they would hit the car but damon was automatic with that shit so we knew it was a possibility we were just like i i we just didn't expect that they would do that shit in the match but typical to them like they fucking hit it it's not it's not that easy to hit but it creates a meta where it's like oh fuck we can't go be or have initial control towards uh like coop side anymore or we can throw an ordinance in ourselves literally they throw the ordinance aid from lot here what we were trying to do was we would we would try and do an ordinance aid where you would you would be able to hit like the white truck over here but you wouldn't really get the timing but they did like their research they they wrapped around lot here then threw it and you can throw it over here that's how we die to this so now it's like okay if you want to ordinance in on defense okay we can ordinance in on offense and we can do the same shit to you so that's why i kind of was like oh it is kind of bullshit that it got ga'd but maybe that's just me because i mean i'm not the one playing but i like the idea of like more mind game shit to ha that that can complicate things people on reddit were trying to hit that nade it took some people hours to even to hit it once yeah i mean when you're a pro player it's a little bit easier Y'all win the event, tell AG to rip his shirt off on stage. I'm not telling him to do that. They took a Benjay route to hit the nade. Not really, but I see what you mean. Benjay route is over here. They took a half Benjay route. They just went over here and threw it. Now, I personally, I would, I would ban the crazy wall bang uh, plant spots over the, the ordinance nade stuff. I would ban that shit first, or GA that shit first, before the ordinance shit gets GA'd. But maybe that's just me. Ordinance nade, at least you gotta find the lineup, test it out, do it in a match, like actually, you know, hit it. The fucking, the G8 spot, or the, the wall bang spots, anyone can do. Bro, I could do that shit, easily. Anyone could literally, anyone could just wall bang a spot if they know the spot. But like, doing the nade and doing it with the timing and like actually hitting it in a match is a little bit different. Obviously, like, both of them should probably get taken out if you're taking them out but if i were to take like one to get taken out i would i would take the the, the wall bank spots first i don't know i just think i just think it creates a cool like mini game inside search i was at the event and my heart sat, sank when they got the triple nade mine did too because i was like fuck we knew that was a thing but they just hit it like i don't know we probably should have expected it because they were doing the ordinance nature the whole time that they could do it. I guess we we just in both matches against FaZe, it looked like Optic played better fundamental COD but got out slayed in both matches. How do you fix that without giving up too much? Uh I mean obviously we have to play a little bit differently. I'm not giving away what what we have to do, but like we've lost him what five times now? Something's gotta change. They get punishing or they get punished for figuring shit out. That's what I'm saying, like they did the work. But then they just it just instantly got taken away from him because everyone was just like, oh, it's cheese. But like we were, I mean, we were testing shit out. We we were doing ordinance saves ourselves this tournament. I would have just liked to see what it would develop into. But I, I understand why it's cheesy because you're just getting naded off spawn. But again, like start doing something different, you know? I don't know. I feel like that's the common shit. At least back in the day, it would just be like, oh, well, we can't do this anymore. They're throwing the strong arm shit. First, let's do it ourselves. And then second, how can we fuck it up for them that they're using their nades and shit like this? How, oh, whoa, there's there's significant advantages we have it on other sides of the map or with, with them not having tax anymore or shit. I, I don't know. I would have just like, like, like to see what it would turn into. But we didn't get a chance like that.
FaZe gets momentum, then Optic gets checked, then FaZe starts running it down. I mean, great, great analysis there. That was dirty from Brandon, by the way. This is going to be reaction time. How does he not die to that? What the fuck? Oh, I only shot him like once. I thought he shot him multiple times. Still, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he was like super, super weak. <clears throat> you guys won Major 2. Who do you think gets MVP? Uh, I don't know. Depends on who would or who did well in the finals, I think. That's how it usually goes, right? I don't know. I would probably give it to Ken based on the way he was playing the finals. And just like in the tournament. JP, I got hit with ads. Oh, what was your question? Oh, I was saying basically, I mean, not to give much away, but like obviously something needs to change with how they're playing. Like what is it? It's been like five times now that we've lost them. I'm not going to go into it, but obviously something needs to change because what, what's happening right now is <laughs> isn't really working. We're getting close, but close isn't, I mean, close isn't good enough, obviously. What happened when AG blacked out? What do you mean by that? Oh, are you talking about the, the invasion hard point? Probably talking about the invasion hard point from winners finals. Now, it was just a moment where we were going to try and play off the time because the time was running low on that P3, but he was staying in the time. It's like, I think Ken called out or someone called out to get off time so that going into that P4, it would only be one second for them to actually start like holding time. But I don't know, technically we never even broke on onto the P4, so maybe it wouldn't have mattered. But if we only saw maybe one second, we would probably have been able to like maybe contest just for that one second. It was going to be hard to win if we couldn't win off P3 regardless. But yeah, there, I mean, there was probably a better chance. How many votes are needed to get a map in? Is it eight or nine? To get a map in, it just has to be majority. You just have to be majority and then, and then it just, okay. Like, let's say what, uh, what was it for the, what was it for, let's say, uh, let's say for, to get six star in. So it was six star for Skid Row, right? All you have to do is get, I guess, I don't know what happens if it's a six, six tie. I'm not sure. But if it's, I, I'm assuming it just stays the same at six, six, but if seven votes get in, then it's, it goes, or first it's just seven votes to get the map in. It's not what to, uh, get it removed for yet is it's. Seven, do we want six star in? Seven votes say yes. So then it becomes a vote of like, which map is getting taken out? So then it's just majority. So like, let's say two teams vote uh, Karachi. Maybe, you know, eight teams vote Skid Row. This is obviously not the exact stuff. And then two people vote Subbase, you know? Then it's just like, okay, we're taking Skid Row out. But this is all anonymous. So since it's done by the league, it's all anonymous. You don't know what other teams are voting for. Uh, and then it just is like, okay, schedule out the most votes. So it's going to go in for six star. That's how uh, the map stuff works. Wasn't the vote for six star seven five? Yeah. So the vote or well, six star control, it was seven to five to keep it in. So it was only five votes to take it out. So since it was only five votes to take it out, it, it just stayed with high rise. It needed, it needed the majority to get removed or yeah, to get this removed. I kind of like Skid Row if they were just adjust P2, but they're not adjusting P2. And also the spawns are much deeper. I, I mean, mostly it's just the P2 though. Like you're not breaking the P2 or the P5 in this new patch. It's just, it's just so hard, especially the P2. Did the pros not like departures? I, I guess not. We never even got to test it in a scrim because we already uh, saw that teams were just not gonna play it. Cause we started a little bit later than the, some of the other teams, like, like two days later. <clears throat> it was if it was seven five to get seven, six star in on control isn't that majority no no it was seven five four high rise so it was it was only five votes to get it in so that's not majority five votes for six star or sorry five votes to get removed or get this removed remove high rise seven votes keep high rise is six star in for hardpoint snd it's in for hardpoint the snd vote i think is going on now for terminal i don't know if it got passed or not i have no idea Vista Hardpoint replaces Evasion, breaking news just now. Well, that wasn't a breaking news. Everyone knew that. It was 9 4, it was 8 4 to GA the rival. Yeah, 8 4. But, so this is what it is it's for a map to get removed, it's a, it's a, you just need a majority. So it just needs 7 5 for a map. 
because it's just like, do we want Skyrise in or not? If it's majority, it gets pushed to what what are we actually voting it for? Which map? But for GA, it has to be overwhelming majority. I mean, I don't know who decided all this. I'm just saying this is what it is. So you need nine votes. Eight four is not good enough. Did you go over all the stage three changes? Uh, we've been talking about a bunch of them, but if anyone has more stuff or want to talk about specific stuff, I can talk about it. Have you voted on term yet? Sounds like not yet. I don't think so. I think it's happening like today or some shit. I don't know. That's a, that's a question for Ant. Wait, so which is replacing Skid Row? Six Star is replacing Skid Row. Did anyone ever test Greece? Mm, we never, we never tested it. I don't know about, about other teams. Can someone summarize all the changes? Uh, so MCW doesn't four bullet anymore, so it's a little bit weaker. Uh, for the maps, Skyrise, or Skyrise. Highrise is staying in in control. It didn't pass the vote to get six star control in. Six star is actually getting put in for hard point at least for Skid Row. Vista got put in for invasion hard point. And there's currently a vote to get six star uh, S and D in. Why does Arctic start so slow? What do you mean? Want to leak Ant's vote for today? Uh, nah, if he wants to tell you what we're voting, we, he can tell you. Is it the same rep for map changing votes as the GA chat vote? Yeah. Any insights on how six star plays? Uh, I mean, it's hard to tell you without like VOD of how it plays, but right now it's just 2-2, two, 2-2 two, two, two meta, similar to like the other maps. Or I guess not all the other maps anymore. Similar to like Karachi or whatever, it's 2-2. Two, two. Going down 100 points is almost every hard point. I've talked about this before. The weight of your vote should correspond to how many CDL points you have. Miami, LAT don't deserve... No, everyone deserves to have a vote. I'm just confused why bottom teams wouldn't want to change things up. That's more of what probably like we were we were wondering about. Because usually it's the ones that are on the bottom that are trying to get things changed because they weren't doing well in the meta currently. Have you guys been screaming phase since the major right now? Or no, or if, if so, how's it been going? Well, first federal question I want to answer anyway. But no, we haven't been because we were there. Or they're our first match and we're their second match. So we play on the first weekend. Did AG get to wrestle a shark in Miami? No. What the fuck? <laughs> How do scrims work? Do you have a schedule? Do, do you have to book them in? What does that process look like? So every like Wednesday night, uh, we get in a call just to book the scrims. So... Sometimes there will be open spots, but most of the time people just pre-book and like ask you on the side, oh, or do you need a scrim Tuesday 4.30, need a scrim fucking Saturday 1 o'clock? Like, they just, they book it that way. Or we all book it that way. But again, you, you won't play teams that you're playing two weeks out in a match. And then when it goes to like a LAN, right before the... Right before the land, you won't play anyone on, or you won't scrim anyone right before the event that's on your side of the bracket, or that you could possibly play if you, like you drop down to lower bracket. It's one team a day, three maps. What do you mean? No, we we scrim two teams a day, and it's every map in the map set, except sur search is like, it'll either be all the respawns or it'll be like a best of eleven or hard point search. So it's like between eight to, I would say, 11 match maps. Is it term S&D or high res S&D in the vote for six star? Uh, I believe it's term, terminal. Do you scrim top challenger teams? Uh, sometimes in search, but we haven't done that in a while. But it's, it's hard because we want to play on the CDL servers and the CDL uh, 60 hertz shit. So we can't play, we can't play challengers on that. Especially if there's like a, a difference in the patch that we're playing on than they are. Any times you think you can make a difference with the new rosters? What do you mean by that? Any times you think you can make a difference with the new rosters? Oh, any teams maybe you meant? Any teams you think you can make a difference? Uh, I don't know. I think it's going to stay the top four teams. Maybe that's just me, but I don't think anything's really going to change. That was the, that was the ordinance I said. So like I was saying before, it, to me, it was just annoying because we knew it was a possibility. Fucking Damon, Damon was hitting this automatic this car and the other guys i think i think Ant was trying it ken may have been trying it too but it was it wasn't automatic it was like once every f once every three or four they would get it so they weren't like as confident to, to use it in a match but typical for skies to, to hit that shit 